Our first adventures during the conservation internship at the National Aquarium in Baltimore involved wetland ecology. During our trips, we spent time with Laura Cattell Knoll and Stephanie Pulley restoring wetlands in New York and the Indian Head Naval Base located in Indian Head, Maryland. So what is a wetland? Simply put, a wetland is where water and land meet. The aquarium has worked with Naval Support Facility Indian Head since 2008 to restore 15 acres of shoreline. Eventually, we made our way to Poplar Island in the Chesapeake Bay. Poplar Island is involved in a restoration project in order to rebuild the island with dredge material after years of erosion plagued the island. While there, we assisted Willem Rosenberg and his Ohio University interns in their attempts to study the survival rates of hatchling diamondback terrapins. We were given the opportunity to handle hatchling terrapins and to release two adults on the island. In the next clip, we observe Willem and the Ohio State interns taking measurements such as the weight of the eggs, the depth and width of the nest, and the temperature of the nest. Okay, so we measure the depth to the top egg. We do that simply by taking this, laying the flag parallel to the, um, and then just holding it. So that's five and a half centimeters. And then what we're going to do is we're going to dig up the entire clutch of eggs. And we're going to clean them off and we're going to weigh each egg. Unlike a chicken egg or a bird egg, it's a very flexible mm -hmm. shell. Okay, depth is 11 and a half the bottom. These are clean. Okay. Behind the scenes and food prep at the aquarium. From the gem room with poison dart frogs to food prep for the different animals in the aquarium. We got to see where the real dirty work begins and how everything is done with different staff and different exhibits of the aquarium. In this clip, one of the animal trainers is teaching a bearded dragon how to target feed.
During week six of our internship, we took a trip to Ocean City, Maryland, where we participated in an outreach program at Secrets Jamaican Grill. At Assateague State Park, we attended the annual Dolphin Camp. We also kayaked there, and along the way, we encountered some wild horses. Off of the coast of Ocean City, Maryland, we went shark tagging. While shark tagging, we managed to catch an Atlantic sharp nose shark and successfully tag it. Jennifer Dittmar and Amber White introduced us to the National Aquarium's Animal Rescue Program. The program has been responsible for rescue, rehabilitation, and release of marine mammals and sea turtles along the Del Mar Peninsula over the past 19 years. At the Oxford Cooperative Laboratory in Oxford, Maryland, we assisted Cindy Driscoll and Jamie Schofield in the necropsy of a harbor porpoise. Necropsies are carried out in order to determine the cause of death in an animal. On this particular porpoise, we measured it, weighed it, and inspected its stomach contents. The cause of death was most likely starvation. Next, we met up with Greg Kearns at Jug Bay on the Patuxent River to ban osprey. We ban osprey to track migration patterns, survival rates, and breed in pairs. On weeks three and seven of our program, we helped to remove some invasive species from the Silberm Arboretum. We also got to take a look at the aquaponics project. Aquaponics combines aquaculture and hydroponics. Water is continuously recycled among the various components flowing from the fish tanks to the waste treatment tanks to the plant growth tanks, then back to the fish tanks. Thank you.